How we doing? It's Mailman Nick. Follow me on Instagram at Nick Venti. If you enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up. Don't treat me like a 204B over here. And obviously, these are my own thoughts and opinions. I'm not speaking on behalf of the Postal Service. So I wanted to make a video talking about my tattoos, specifically my neck tattoos, because that's everybody's been asking me, did it hurt? Does your job have an issue with it? Uh, how long did it take for you to think of how long did it take for you to think of like an idea or whatever? Or like, did you was it a spontaneous thing or it was a lot of thought put into it? For me, every tattoo I have has meaning to me. Everything, I waited at least a month of wanting something before I got the tattoo. And I, I think that should be a good rule of thumb. Wait a month, and if you still want it, definitely get the tattoo. But everything has meaning to me. Like my first tattoo, let me see if I could. Uh, my first tattoo, hold on one sec, was the Great White and... Uh, that was back in like 2015, 2016. And the reason why that means a lot to me is because ever since the third grade, you know, I did a book report on sharks. I would draw hammerheads. I would watch Shark Week, watch shark documentaries, learn a lot of facts, watching them swim. I've always been obsessed with sharks. Even when I was fighting MMA, my great, my, my, my MMA nickname was the Great White. And it still is. Anytime I train with my buddy Tom, he calls me the Great White. So, uh, you know, it has meaning to me. And, uh, you know, everything on my body does. Like like my, uh, uh, I have a tombstone on my forearm that has the word doubt on it. When I was younger, I had very little confidence. I had, you know, no drive, no ambition. And, uh, you know, it's just a constant reminder, you know, never doubt myself. I look at that all the time. I never doubt myself. Always all in. Put all my put my all into everything and uh, no second guessing. But uh to talk about the neck tattoos cuz like I said a lot of people ask about them. I got them in sections, so I got my right side first and then I got my throat and then just a few days ago I got my left side done. So uh my first one was the candle and the clock. And the meaning to me, and that's basically what the middle one means to me too, is basically time is valuable. My time is valuable, precious, and I will not waste it on anybody or anything that doesn't catapult my life forward, that doesn't push my life in a positive direction. And that's with anything, you know, people, alcohol, substances, anything that brings me down, I will not waste my time on it. My time is precious and my time is valuable. So that's uh, the big meaning about this tattoo. As far as pain, every tattoo on my neck had pain for different reasons, but there were there was pain. If anybody says their neck, tat their neck didn't hurt, they either, because there, there's certain spots that felt like a scalpel, you know, you know, there's going to be pain. There's going to be pain, especially when you're getting them sh uh, shaded like mine. There's going to be some pain. If you're getting like a little butterfly or something, anybody could sit for an hour or two. It's when it's like a six, seven, eight hour session. That's when it starts to really feel it. But if you get an hour or two session, you could you could do anything for two hours. You could sit for two hours in any almost any spot in your body. You could sit for an hour or two. But the worst spots for me were by the shoulder and on the bottom of the neck. The skin just felt very thin there. And every time he went on it, it felt like a hot scalpel. But it's definitely worth it. You sit there and I don't and I don't use numbing cream by the way. My my uh my tattoo artist said uh something to do with it ruins the ink or like in, uh inflames the skin where the ink won't sit right or something to that effect. He said he highly recommends not using numbing cream. So I didn't use numbing cream for any of my tattoos or anywhere in my body. I don't use numbing cream. So, uh, yeah, the worst pain for me, I remember it was right. It felt like right here. But the lower on the neck, the worse it was. Because as it went up, and it's weird because I got the behind my ear and I thought that was going to be the worst part. But it felt like the needle had a hard surface to, you know... 
if the it, it brace the impact better is that's the only way I could describe it. That's the only way I could describe it. So it it uh, embraced the impact a lot better on my head than the thin parts of my neck. So it was the same for this one too. So this is an hourglass, basically the same as the as the clock and the candle. Time is precious. We only got so little of it. You know, treat it like treat it like some people treat money or their possessions. You know, time is your most valuable possession. Um, so the Adam's apple, I was the Adam's apple. I was worried about, but it wasn't too bad. It's it's always when it's down here on the thin skin, on the on the thin skin on the bottom. That's where the pain was the worst. And my shout out to Rock Ink by Rock at Ink Dom in Chicago. He's also a barber, so he's like, when we got up to here. He's like, I'm going to give you a permanent beard line. Obviously, my beard looks bad now because I didn't trim it because I just got this new tattoo. So I've been kind of uh, not manscaping at the moment. But uh, once he got to the top, he's like, I'm going to give you a permanent beard line, bro. You can't really see it. But, uh, you know, when I shave my neck, uh, it's a it's a perfect uh, beard line. So that that was nice because he's a barber. So he, he just uh, put it straight. So it'll look better once I trim up my beard. But uh yeah shout out to rock uh yeah the pain the worst pain was definitely down here the adam's apple wasn't too bad but it was the way you're positioned too so i was positioned for my throat i was on my back with my head facing down and i also tried not to swallow because i didn't want him like because these lines he got them like perfectly straight i didn't want to mess it up i didn't want to swallow where my adam's apple was going everywhere so that was uncomfortable so that might have added to the pain because I was in an uncomfortable position I was trying not to swallow for to not mess up the the lines and stuff like that so that might have had something to do with it but overall I'm very happy that I got it because I love it the, the hourglass and then the the candle and the clock and then the one I just got to uh well so I got it Monday it's Wednesday so two days ago uh, it's an eye, a teary eye and a heart. And what that, and what it means to me is basically, you know, I've been hurt in the past. I've, you know, we all have taken L's before. We've all, you know, lost people. And it's, it's basically just means that, you know, I've gone through a lot and, you know, I'm going to continue to go through a lot and it's okay to, you know, take L's, but, you know, you just got to learn from them and, uh, you know, get better. But, uh, as far as pain, same thing on like my right side, the worst part was on the bottom, but once it went up towards like the back of the ear, uh, the impact wasn't as bad on the needle. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, the lower on the neck, the worse it was. And as it got, it went up, it wasn't as bad for me, but when, once you're down here, it feels like a scalpel. But yeah, that's my whole neck sleeve. Shout out to Ink by Rock. If you're thinking about getting a tattoo, make sure your job's okay with it. I'm a blue collar worker for life. Before this, I was a strip club bouncer and an MMA fighter. Now I'm a mail carrier. I'm going to be a blue collar worker for life. And uh, I'd rather stick out than fit in. You know, as I'm, I'm almost 30 now. I'm almost 30. And, uh, you know, I, I could care less what people think now. Uh, when I was younger, I would be like, oh, what does this person think? You know, what does my family think or whatever? My happiness is number one. My happiness is number one. You know, being a people pleaser. Yeah, you do do nice things for people. I'm not saying that. But, you know, prioritize your own happiness, your own time. And, uh, you know, that's kind of the whole concept of the whole next. So, yeah, thank you guys all for tuning into this video. Uh, I know it's not it's different than my normal postal videos, but... I've been getting a lot of questions about, like I said, the pain. You know, people want to know if it's worth it. How is the pain? Uh, like I said, the throat, just because I was in the position I was in and plus like the pain and the Adam's apple and the pushing down on my neck and being hard to like swallow and breathe, you know, that probably added a lot to it. But it is worth it. I, it was very worth it. And, uh, you know, especially if you go to an artist who pays attention to the detail and stuff. I know... People are going to judge me when I, uh, you know, when I'm 
When I'm out and about, I know people are saying, oh, is he a gang member? Oh, is he a fighter? Well, they see the ear too, but, you know, people judge off uh, first impressions. I know there's people going to judge me, but I honestly don't care. I, For me, my happiness doing what I want to do is most important. So, yeah, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.